the downfall of the Abbasids. The golden age of the Abbasid Caliphate ended on February 10th, 1258, when the Genghis Khan's grandson, Alaku Khan, sacked Baghdad. The Mongols burned the Great Library and the House of Wisdom in the Abbasid Caliphate, and they killed the Caliph al mutasim After two years uh, and some time between 1261 to and uh, to the 1517 surviving Abbasid caliphs lived under the Mamluk rule in Egypt, building more or less control over religious matters while having little to no political power. The last Abbasid caliph, Al Mutawakkil III, supposedly handed over the title of uh, caliphate to the Ottoman Sultan Selim, the first caliph of Ottoman Empire in 1570 CE. So how the decline of the Abbasid uh, Caliphate starts or what are the reasons behind the uh, downfall of Abbasid, Abbasids? First is the dynastic decline, a natural phenomena. Every dynasty have the decline, uh, decline if they don't reform they don't have the uh, reforms which the Abbasid don't have. So after the rising period, after the golden age, when they didn't uh, reforms, uh, so they got declined. The second reason is the violation of Islamic principles. Uh, they violated many Islamic principles. Uh, so that became another reason for the decline. There were another reason weak and incompetent rulers. Uh, this was another great reason uh, for their uh, decline that uh, many rulers after the first 10 uh, rulers were incompetent and weak. We know that their first uh, 10 rulers of Abbasid Caliphate were the powerful and competent caliphs. After that, the uh, remaining rest 29 caliphs were the weak and they don't have the power except one or two. So, after 861C, the uh, other caliph who came after 861C, they were incompetent. Most of them were incompetent, and most of them were the weak caliph. <coughs> okay, the uh, role of Persian wazir. So. As we know uh, that the, this uh, caliphate came into uh, power with the uh, with the uh, support of Persians, so people from Persia and Khorasan were the initial bakers of the Abbasid Caliphate, Abbasid dynasty. But soon differences uh, occurred between the ruling dynasty and uh, their supporters due to the religious and political differences so it forced the Abbasid to eliminate the influence of Persians so in start they make them wazirs and after some time they them, uh, did them the, uh, rem remove them from their force so this created the some kind of uh, uh, troubles for the Abbasid as well and the Abbasid uh, 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 to eliminate the influence of Persians they cannot rely on the Arab people so Abbasid uh, uh, moved to the new, newly converted Turks as their supporters initially Turk, uh, Turkish forces assisted the Abbasid to regain the control of several areas, especially Iraq, from uh, other dynasties. But later the Turks became kingmaker, who destabilized the caliphate internally. They established their own autonomous states in several parts of caliphate, where rule of, uh, of uh, Abbasid was minimal. 
rise of turfs on political stage also proved to be an important reason for fall of Abbasid Caliph. And then uh, the other reason is the uh, autonomous dynasties. There were uh, 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 many dynasties, several dynasties have claimed uh, that they are the independent. For example, in the start, the first one was the uh, Umayyad uh, Emirate in the Spain, and after that, the uh, several factions left the empire exercising the independent authority 793 uh, there was a, a Drisid dynasty they gained the power in the Morocco then uh, the Berber Khalid set up an independent state in North Africa in 801 C and after that uh, another independent state of Aglabid Emirate in 830 and then uh, a Drisid dynasty and after that, in the uh, Fatimid Caliphate in 909, and then uh, uh, Ghaznavi uh, Empire got independent from them, and Seljuki and uh, uh, Zingi dynasty. So there were different dynasties so uh, when they got an autonomous this weakened the power of caliph and the other reason is the Shia Sunni differences as uh, uh, we know <clears throat> that Abbasid and the Shia were together during the Hashmid movement as I discussed in, in the start uh, which brought the end of the Umayyad Caliphate but differences between the two parties started few years out of the emerging of Abbasid Caliphate Shia were expecting to become rulers after fall of the Umayyad but instead Abbasid themselves took the throne this resulted in another uh, conflict between them and uh, this prompted them to reorganize several rebellions against the Abbasid during their caliphate and this weakened the caliphate due to their revolts and conspiracies. For example, Fatimid Caliphate which and uh, they controlled the north of Tifa and Hijaz and the Boyd dynasty controlled areas of Persia, Iraq and Oman in 10th century and as well as there were some other organizations uh, for example Karamtis and Assassin which was led by Hassan ibn Saba also created uh, problems in various parts of Islamic world at the end they supported Halaku Khan during the uh, during his successful invasion of Baghdad is the Wazir of uh, uh, last Caliph Mohsin III was a uh, belong to that uh, per, uh, that uh, movement, so he supported the Halakhu Khan. And the last one is the Mongol invasion. In the start of 13th century, Mongol tribes united and rise under the leadership of Genghis Khan. Later, they started to invade the, and capture areas around Mongol Mongolia. Soon, they occupied. China, Central Asia, and Eastern Europe. Mongols started their invasion against Abbasid in 1236, but most of their invasion fell against the strong military of the Caliphate. The final invasion of Mongols started in 1257 when several Christian kingdoms were also assisting Mongols. After capturing nearby areas from various factions, the Mongols reached near Baghdad in 1258. Last Abbasid Caliph was too afraid to fight against the invaders and he surrendered to Mongols after the successful siege. Later, Caliph Mothasim was assassinated and the Mongols plundered 
and destroyed the whole city of Baghdad, which marked the end of the Abbasid Caliphate. After that, I, as I discussed earlier, that some uh, prince escaped, princes escaped from uh, Baghdad to Egypt, where was the Mamluk dynasty, and they became there again the caliph for some time, for 300 years, but they don't have the political power, they just have the name of caliph. So, like this, the uh, caliphate ended in 1258, uh, basically, and uh, at the end, uh, their shadow of caliph also ends in 1517. Thank you, Allah Hafiz.